Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Get ready for craziness. I have so many like different things here and usually I would either not share some of these things or wait until I had things finished to show you. Kind of like other areas in the house and other videos that I always tease you about and then I never get to because I don't really consider myself a perfectionist. I don't know. It's like I don't like to show something until it's it's done and then stuff happens. So I'm not gonna wait for that. And I feel like my Friday videos are kind of like just for us anyway. Like the passing person isn't gonna watch. They don't even know what a Friday haul is. So I feel like these are kind of like special videos for us. So get ready for makeup, fashion, shoes, and lots of homeware and home things. Okay, so let's start with makeup. You guys, this lipstick. I wore this in my Revolve Cool Girl video. Thank you for the great response on that. And I had so many of you ask me about this lipstick and I've been meaning to put it in the description and I keep forgetting, but it was this L'Oreal Peony Pink. I have worn this every day, every day since then. Now in that video, I had on my Paradise lip liner with Christian Audette, and I will link that down below also. And then yesterday I tried it with Lancome Ideal and it didn't look quite as good. And I haven't tried it yet with Lolita, but I bet KVD Lolita would look good with this. So this is a must have. This isn't that expensive. I insist that you try this because I think that you will like it. And you know what I have noticed is the longer I have been wearing these L'Oreal lipsticks, the less I notice the scent or like the taste. It doesn't really get on my nerves and it's actually like bringing about good feelings now, I guess because I like these colors so much. So if that bothers you at first, try to give it three or four days and see if that feeling kind of goes away. Okay, another favorite is what I have on my eyes today. You guys, I have worn this, I think every day, every day since I showed it to you last week. And no, it's not that MAC palette. It is this contour palette from, I was going to say Butter Beauty, <laughs> Physicians Formula. It's just phenomenal. So I've been using this color in the crease, this color on the lid, and then I go and deepen it up a little bit with that color. And some days I've even just been using this, like if we're just going to the pool or just, you know, messing around, I'll just use that. But I would say most of the time I do use a little bit of the darkest shade to deepen the outer, and that's what I did today. And then I just have on my brown gel liner from L'Oreal. Okay, let me get these these two things out of my way and then let's change this lip color because I'm not liking it but I wanted you to see it before I changed it. Another one, another disco ball for my home. This is the same one that I have upstairs. It's actually an ice bucket but I am using it as a planter or a vase or just to sit there and look pretty. Upstairs I'm using it to put my scissors and trash in like cut off tags and stuff in my closet and the one I got before had black black around the rim. This one has gold. And the reason I got this is for my kitchen table. I wanted like a little bit of funk over there, but I didn't want it to be, I don't know. It's like I'm trying to think of all the different things. And that's what I was thinking this morning because I just love the way it looks over there. I was thinking it needs to be your funk. You know what I mean? It needs to be your quirky thing that you like. Say you are just into a certain color, purple, or you're into a certain flower. All these things aren't funky enough, but you get what I'm saying. Make it your own. I have had a little bit of a a hold back from doing that as much in my home because it's so visible here on YouTube. But I'm I finally like gaining the confidence and I've decided I'm going to just decorate it how I want to. And I'm also going to start changing it up a little bit more. We've been here two years now. When we moved in, I had to hit the ground running. We had to like basically beg for furniture because everybody was backed up and I'm still waiting for a new coffee table, that art and all of that stuff. So I'll be updating you every week for sure. So anyway, this is what I got to go on that table. And what looks really pretty in it is I brought some hydrangeas home from my mom's one day. Do you hear Chanel? 
she's playing. I found a little piece of a Christmas tree when we were moving the sofa. It must have been stuck under there, and so she's been playing with that. But the hydrangeas looked gorgeous in this. Just the the difference between those big, you know, snowball blossoms and this on that kind of marbly table looked beautiful. This is the first thing that I ordered to go on that table, and I might still end up using it somewhere. I just loved the shade of green. It's just a tray from Anthropology. It came in two different colors and two different sizes. So of course this is the green and this is the larger size, but it wasn't quite large enough to do what I wanted to do with it. But I really do still like it. And the painting that I bought to put over there in that room has some green in it. So I'm gonna try to, I've got plenty of storage space here. I'm gonna try to not freak out about having some things put away and then switching the those out and I'll get to more of that as we go on here. Okay, I thought I would go ahead and show you this. This is a lampshade that belongs to the lamp that's gonna be delivered today. I really had no idea they were gonna be delivered separate, so that was a shock. I will link it below, but it's a tall, beautiful floor lamp that is going to go at the end of this sofa down there to just give me some height in this room. I wanted to bring some of that natural texture in, kind of like my chairs at, in the breakfast nook or like that rattan. And we're at the beach, so I want to add a little bit of coastal in it without it being too kitschy. Because remember, I'm from here, so I have seen so much of that just condo looking beach house stuff that if you're not from here, it looks good and you like it. But if you are from here, you know it's not really, I don't know, it's not really the vibe. It's not really how you feel. So I felt like this was going to bring that in just a little bit and give me some texture. Okay, and then I just saw this on the counter. <gasps> are we ready for this? Are we ready for the Nordstrom sale? Because ready or not, here it comes. Ambassador early access starts July 12th. I'm not an icon anymore. I didn't spend enough last year. So I'm an ambassador, but I am going to go, I'm gonna travel somewhere to be determined. Matter of fact, I think we have to decide that today. And I'm gonna shop the sale, stay in a hotel, and post the video that night. So be on the lookout for that, and we will have a good time. We will do what we do around here. Okay, now let's get to some lips because this isn't getting it. I went to, okay, first of all, back up. I was watching one of my favorite makeup artists, and I cannot remember her name, but she pops up because, you know, when you watch somebody, they keep popping up, thank goodness. And she said this was one of her favorite lip liners, and it's Tower 28, one liner, and the color is work of art. And that's what I've got on today, and it's just not enough for me. It's not enough color. Maybe it will be in the winter time when I don't have a tan, but I wanted to try it on for you and just let you see, you know, what it looks like. Here's the thing. I'm gonna have to show you swatches on the palm of my hand so you see more of a true color. And let me go get that L'Oreal lipstick so you can see it better too. So it's a perfect rosy, pink with a little bit of shimmer. It's perfect. You're gonna love it. Okay, so when I went to order that lip liner, and I still use the Kirkland wipes, if you're curious, now that I'm not doing my empties, I ordered it. I think I saw her do a thing on Instagram and I ordered it right from my phone. And the only other thing I saw on Sephora that was new that I wanted to order was this. The new Charlotte Tilbury Matte Meets Moisture Liquid Lipstick. That sounds good, doesn't it? So the color I chose first is Pillow Talk and it's Pillow Talk Blur. So I got it yesterday. We had gone, walked over to the pool for about an hour and a half or so. And when I got home, the mail had come and I saw this and I was so happy with this. I'm going to swatch these on my hand because they stain like you wouldn't believe and they're also beautiful. And after I saw how good this one was, I went to Sephora and I bought every one of them so I could show you because I might not wear these two red colors, but they're gorgeous. They really are and they're gonna stay all day. I love the way they're kind of like that blurry look and I just think they're understated even to be as bright as they are. I wanna start I think there's six of them, so I'm gonna start down here, but this is Pillow Talk. Isn't that 
gorgeous. I mean, it is. This is what I have on right now, but see, I would add my Paradise Lip Liner or Lancome Ideal or Totally Toffee or even Lolita. It just depends on what way you wanna carry it. This with that Tower 7 lip liner isn't enough for me. It might be for you if you like light muted lips, but for me, it's not enough. But I love this. And when I tried it, swatched it next to my typical lip liners, I loved it. I wanna do them kind of in order so you can see the different shades. Okay, so let's do nude blur. But look how pretty that is. It is like a perfect little like honey, just enough warmth. I think it's gonna look so pretty. Now I did just get these last night, so I will be wearing them and I'll let you know. But I swatched them all in the store and thought they were beautiful. Okay, so that was nude blur. Next is going to be your honey blur. So this is a little bit deeper. I think that's even prettier. I mean, they are beautiful, beautiful. And see, I'm thinking with these darker colors, and I'm getting get ready to show you one, you probably won't need a lip liner. You'll be able to go right to the edge of your lips, even a little bit over. Because it stains, it just gives it that look. Kind of like I was saying when they did with Pamela Anderson, how they would put the NARS lip stain first, and then you do the stone lip liner, and then you do a lipstick. I'm thinking that is how this is going to be. Okay, this one is Rose Blur, and I think this one and Pillow Talk, and then another one that I'm going to show you are going to be the go-tos. I think they're going to be what most people like the most. Rose is gorgeous. I love it. I mean, see how they're all like muted colors? So that's why I didn't pick up the red shades at first and I just thought about it. And the girl that was helping me said the other girls that work there love it. So I went back and got them. Here it is. I was looking for Pillow Talk Medium. I think this might be like my go-to here. Okay, so we're going to do Pillow Talk Medium right under Pillow Talk. First real impressive, well, of course I was impressed with all the L'Oreal but I know I'm late to the game on those. Okay, the next one, Walk of Shame. This is a good one. So this is gonna be your first kind of dark, more intense color. It's kind of like a deeper, gosh, it even has a little, they all, oh, even though they're like matte, they have like a little bit of sheen to them. They're really, really beautiful. That one almost has like a coppery undertone. Okay, here come the wild cards, and I'm talking wild. This is flame blur and i love this i love an orangey red that is so pretty that with your big oversized sunglasses and no eye makeup that's what i would do that with a no eye makeup day put your big lips on and your big sunglasses throw on a hat or throw your hair back in a ponytail that is a statement. Okay, and this one is Ruby Blur. So this is also a red, but it's more of your traditional. So there you go. All of the colors. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I mean, I cannot wait to try each one of them. Which one? Leave a comment down below right now which color you wish I would put on. That might be fun just to see. <laughs> I know you're going to say that orangey red color, but I don't know. I'm going to try to take this off and I'm going to take a picture of this and I'll be right back. So go ahead and leave that comment below. And now I thought we would do the rose. And the reason is, I think it is, a friend of mine said it was sold out at her Sephora and I think it might be the most loved by most people. So I am going to try the rose blur. And then you want to go ahead and perfect it as much as you can because it's going to stain. Typically, I don't worry about like the corners of my mouth, but you're going to want to get that just so you don't have like an empty space. What do we think? I love it. I love it. See, that is just enough color for me to be kind of a bright pink. That is pretty bright for me. So I love it and I love all of these. I will be wearing them if you want to follow me on my Instagram and in videos and everything. I just think that they're a really cool concept, especially for the summer. Okay, so let's go on to what else I picked up at Sephora. I wanted to try the Makeup Forever HD 
again because when it first came out I never could find like my perfect shade so she shade matched me and I'm wearing it today so let me know what you think this is something I do a lot I buy it and I'll also get them to give me a sample and I use the sample first that way if I have to return it I don't feel bad that you know I just used it one time and I didn't like it so I use makeup forever HD skin 3n42 that's what I have on let me know what you think compared to you know I have on the rest of my makeup that I always wear and then this is one that I kept hearing about years ago and they didn't have it at my Sephora and then it seems like when I was out of town and I looked they were always out of my shade but it's the Kosas Revealer Skin and Proving foundation SPF 25 medium coverage natural dreamy finish I love that so the color we chose for me is medium tan olive and I will try that tomorrow and see how I feel about it but so far I'm liking this what do you think I did order these two from I cannot even remember I saw them on House of Valentina and she had them listed and so I purchased them because I actually just bought one of these it's my favorite plant the Monstera but this is the Thai constellation that's what gives it the variegation I also have an elbow just a cutting that I'm rooting right now wish me luck and so I grabbed these two to use somewhere in the house like in a vase but I just think they're so pretty and not only is this my favorite plant but I like that they had the rare one the Thai constellation okay and then I've got a new blankie that a friend sent me her good friend just started this company it's called the act of lounging I chose this color because I'm trying to add some more warm tones in the room I've already test drove this and it was wonderful I took a little nap I think Sunday before I went to my parents and she was nice enough to give us a code the blanket is 130 for this big one and my code is 10% off so I will put all of that information down below I can say that it is a little bit softer than the barefoot dreams and it's not as like you know how sometimes the barefoot dreams and this blanket right here i can't remember what even the name of that is but it's one of those really popular expensive ones they're almost too thick to even take a good snuggle nap in this one didn't like that it was just the right thickness that you could get snuggly with it and it was perfect so thank you for her for sending this to me and i will put her information down below and it's something that will go anywhere i think in my whole house okay this is one of my new pillows all the pillows that i have ordered i've ordered in sets of two i do have an interior designer helping me and so she is kind of sending things my way and i tell her yay or nay whether I want them but I really trust her I've seen enough of her work so she told me to get two of these and I did and the other one I think it's supposed to be here today along with everything else but if I waited to do this video till everything got here I would just never do it so I have another one of these coming and I would say about four more pillows including another one for my bed let me go get that one and show it to you okay you know i just got new bedding which is something i wanted to talk to you guys about i love the bedding that i had on there matter of fact it's still available i thought it was limited edition and it was sold out so i will link it down below i loved it it was such a soft look yet it had the like tiger stripes it was just perfect but it's good to change it up and I needed to really professionally clean that duvet so bad so I took it to the dry cleaners the other day this is funny not only did I have my Zara jacket that I wore to Vegas over a year ago there I had a little set of clothes from 2017 at the dry cleaners I couldn't believe it I said I wouldn't have blamed you if you had just given them away and she said I just don't even have time to do that and I said I know I know what you mean I took that stuff to the dry cleaners and I'm going to have it hanging up and one of the things that I am promising myself is that I'm going to change my bedding more often I'm not going to wait until one gets worn out or all the things that we do I want to change it up maybe monthly or whenever I feel like it because it changes the room and I don't have a lot of like decor in my room I've ordered some things but your bedding pretty much is your centerpiece especially because I just don't want it too cluttered in there so I got that really kind of loud print and I've enjoyed it and what is the best part about it is the white is not really white it's almost this color it's kind of like a blushy color 
The texture is gorgeous. It is so much prettier in person. I don't know if I've ordered too many things from Anthropology that I haven't liked. Most everything I get from Anthropology I like. Well, my interior designer wanted me to order the drapes in this velvet with this fuchsia trim. And I'm not sure I'm ready to commit to drapes in my bedroom yet, so I ordered this pillow. It comes in your typical pillow size, and then it came in this size, and I ordered another one so that I can have two. You know, I have the bed pillows, then I have the euros, three euros, and then I have two king shams, and then you want either a bolster or two of these sitting in front of that, and it just looks gorgeous. And this kind of breaks up all of that, you know, black and that tropical print. Matter of fact, I'll put a picture in here, but Chanel and Sassy were laying on the bed yesterday and Chanel was just about camouflage on that bed. So I wanted to show this to you because it's gorgeous. These pillows come in different color schemes, but this one is just exceptional. If you are someone like me that likes pink, but you don't want to overdo it in certain areas, this is a great way to do it. Or if you got that bed set and you want to soften it a little bit, this is perfect. Okay, so now we're getting back to clothes and shoes and a few more home things. I ordered these towels because we have had, I like using all white towels. I just like it. I love the feeling of being in a luxury hotel. That is my vibe. The luxury hotel with a little bit like I said, a funk in it, like a little bit of character. I don't like enough to be called eclectic. I just like a little dab here and there of my personality, kind of like I dress. So I ordered these. I think this was also a recommendation from House of Valentina. I really like her house and the way she's decorated it. Now it's a little too black and dark for me, but it's her vibe and I love that. I love that her house is like her and I do think she gives good advice and everything. But she recommended these towels from Amazon. They are so soft. I love the print. All of mine are just white and they don't really have any type of, can't think of what I want to say here, but they don't have any design in them. So I really liked these and I'll let you know, I do not put fabric softener in my towels and I will probably wash these twice before I use them. Another amazing thing I got this week from Amazon is for this guest room right here, we have a queen size bed. I wanted something simple to go in there that would go with any pillow that I wanted to put on the bed. And so I just chose this color in the linen blend from Amazon. And I am so impressed. I was gonna just put everything on the bed, but I wanted to show you this. They are just beautiful. Like these are actually like the pillowcases. Sorry, I set my makeup wipe down here and it got them wet, but isn't that beautiful? I love it. Very thin and it's not like crazy, you know, bristly, like it's gonna like file your skin down or anything. I just really like it. And I thought you guys might like it. Going along with that same bedding thing, I might get this in like a funky color or something to go in my room because I will love that it's a color, but it's this natural feeling. I feel like I need to show my fashion lover something or you're gonna leave me. Please don't leave me. I know this is gonna be a long video. I'm sorry. I just have so much stuff and I don't want to not share it because then when I share it later, it won't be available. That just, it's the way it goes, especially now. Ever since COVID, no one has stock anymore. Have you guys like tried to go out and shop? And then they always say, well, we can order order it for you and you're thinking, I could have ordered it before, you know, you, I wanted to buy it here from you. I want to support my area. Anyway, I won't go into that any more than I just did. Okay, here's the thing. I told you I have a dupes video coming up and I want to do the best one that there is. And I don't want it to be cheesy, cheap, crazy stuff that is a dupe and really isn't good. I want to do quality dupes. So I've been working on this, but I had to send a pair of shoes back. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and tell you, I bought the Hermes Oron sandal and I just bought it in black. I've always been curious about those and I got my regular size eight and they were just a little bit too small. So I sent those back and I'm exchanging them for the eight and a half. So I wanted to try a dupe for those and I wanted to wear them both, compare them, and this is what I chose. Now I did not, go black to black or anything because I wanted to enjoy them all. And a lot of these are limited edition. I think these might be, and a lot of them are on sale, but are these not 
gorgeous. I mean, every day I get a pair of these shoes, I have to like show John and show him how pretty they are. And I don't know if he gets it, but they're just gorgeous, you guys. These shoes are beautiful. My plan is, is to get the Hermes, the real McCoy, and then wear these and those, and then I can tell you how they differ, which one's more comfortable, because in the end, for you, just like I do for myself, I want to decide, are they worth it? Because sometimes you'd rather just spend your money on something else, but if you know the Hermes sandals are worth it, yes, you guys, they're comfortable. They look so good on my foot, all of those things, then you can go for it. Or if you just want to, like I say, test drive it with these, then you've got a good option. You know, to me, the Steve Madden, or is it Steven, is still a nice brand. I wouldn't recommend just pure junk to you. I just think that those are gorgeous. Okay, going along with that, remember the Dior shoes that I just got not too long ago. Well, I kept linking another pair, which I really like. I think they say Miami, and they're pink, and then they have like the just more natural brown wooden sole. So I thought, well, maybe I need to try a pair of those so that I can compare those to the Dior slides. And I can't remember the real name. Sorry, I know it's something funky. And I found these, you guys. These will take your breath away. Now, there is slight differences in the quality from these to the Dior, and I'll go over that in the dupes video. I got to save that, but I didn't want these to sell out before you get them because they are absolutely gorgeous. The first day I got them, I put them on and I just loved them so much. I wore them the whole like afternoon on the porch and around the house, and they're so comfortable. I can just go ahead and say, you just need to get these. No matter what, even if you have the Dior's, even if you're gonna get the Dior's, you need these. They're just beautiful. I love a gold shoe. Look at the shimmer. I mean, they're beautiful and they say Saint-Tropez. It's not like they say anything weird. <laughs> I think we all like Saint-Tropez. They are beautiful, and I love the mix of the natural right there. They're a must-have. I think I'm saving, I hate to say the best to last because all of those are just must-haves, but how long did you think it was gonna take me to get these? I showed you the black ones in my other, this is another crazy haul, believe me. I showed you the first ones in this haul. I'll put it up here where I have on the crazy glasses, and they were already on sale. Like, this is a high-end designer shoe. I believe it's J.W. Anderson, and I saw the black ones on Caroline and got those and they were already on sale. Then they put all of them another 20% off. So these had been on my mind, the pink ones, and I got them. Now, I don't know how much I'll wear these, but honestly, they're beautiful just to look at and I am going to wear them. I will wear these, especially with sweats and like the free people little sets and stuff like that. I'll wear them more in the fall and winter, but I just, I couldn't resist them. And then one of you sharp characters caught that I was wearing a new pair of shoes in my last video, the Revolve try on. And I had these on with my shorts and that beautiful blue blouse, you guys. I asked my mom if she wanted one and it's a little too big and flowy for her. It would, it would swallow her up because she's more petite, but I have been wanting to try the Gucci loafers for years now. But I have the mules. I have the ones with fur in them. I have the regular black ones and the white ones with like bees and stars on them. But I've always just been curious about the regular loafer. Then when I saw these with the Gucci print, which I love, I think I mentioned this in my quiet luxury video that I kind of consider the Gucci print and the Louis Vuitton print and the Fendi print. I guess you wouldn't say quiet luxury, but classic. It's just like a classic print. I love it. It's just timeless. So when I saw these, I knew that I would like them. And you guys, as soon as I put these on, I thought, okay, this is why these are a big deal. This is why people get these and they have to resole them that they wear them so much. They are about 300 times more comfortable than the mules are. The mules I like, but I never feel like my foot is like all the way in them. You kind of have to have that shuffly, type feeling in the mules, but with these, you feel secure, like, and they feel 
just, I don't know, I, I was gonna say smart, but they just feel good and you feel like stylish and with it, but they're very comfortable. I really, really like these. So I knew I wanted to try the Sam Edelman version that a lot of people get that they compare the Sam Edelman version to these. The Sam Edelman version of the slides was a little different. So I thought, well, I'll get these and try them. I've been wanting to try these anyway. And then I was looking at the Sam Edelman and I found these, you're gonna die. Look at these. So these are kind of like a combination of the Gucci and the JW Anderson. They are a work of art. Look at all of that. They are fabulous. They are not for the faint of heart, but I think most of us here have a little bit of, you know, vibe to us. And I think that even if you are the most conservative dresser, if you wore this with a pair of cropped little straight leg black pants and a black t-shirt with these shoes just out of this world. You will be the belle of the ball. You will be the talk of the town. Everyone will love these. I love them. I mean, they're gorgeous. I have tried these on. I've walked around in them and I'm going to save my complete reviews until the video because I do want to wear them out of the house and see. But you guys, this is a close one. I'm just going to give you one little tip. It's little things like that versus just a seam. So see that covered seam? and just a seam. So at first glance, there's no difference, but it's little things like that that make the difference in a designer shoe or you know a luxe shoe like that. These still are usually over 100, but these are on sale. And that is why I had to show these to you before I do that video. Back to home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep you hanging, please. New flatware. I have tried and I have tried to use the black, the matte black. And even if it says dishwasher safe, it's not. It will get scratched up. It will lose the color. And I think that that's understandable and expected, but I tried. I tried two different sets, one from West Elm and one from like Oneida or like a really reputable brand. I got it at Belk at Christmas on sale. So I'm gonna give up on the black flatware. I'm telling you guys, we had Fiesta wear, silverware. I mean, I just gave it to Brooke. We've had that silverware for over 20 years, not a single thing wrong. So I'm sure it was just because it was the black, but something else I've always wanted to try. I love bamboo things. And at Williams Sonoma last year, I saw they had bamboo silverware and it's high dollar, but it's worth it if I like it. But I wasn't sure if I was gonna like, you know, you kind of have to like the shape of the fork and the spoon when it's in your hand. It's kind of like a big deal to me. Like I'm someone who likes a big fork. I don't like a little fork. So I got this off of Amazon just to try. It still got really good reviews and I will use it until it's not usable. And then if I liked it, then I can maybe get the Williams Sonoma. So I grabbed this and it's really pretty. Even though it's bamboo, it's not super, super chunky and round and it's not real like bumpy. I think I'm really gonna like it. Okay, Victoria's Secret, you guys. You know how much I love Victoria's Secret. I remember when our Victoria's Secret opened in the mall and it was really pretty. It was like that mahogany wood. I mean, it might still be like that. I just haven't been to the mall in a while. It was in a different spot and I was just taken with it. I still have one of my first like sleep shirts that I got from there. And then when I went to the hospital to have Brooke, that's what I chose as my, you know, little, 90, you know, where after I have the baby. So I have always loved Victoria's Secret, the fashion show, all of that kind of stuff. And out of the blue about, it was right when Revolve contacted me, Victoria's Secret, a rep from Victoria's Secret messaged me and said, we see that you've been loving our stuff on Like to Know It and Instagram. We'd like to send you a few things. So they told me to go on the website and choose whatever I want and let them know. So normally when you do that, you send them all the things you want and then they send you a few of the things that they have the most stock of, the most different sizes, maybe their best sellers. You guys, 
They sent me every single thing that I put on my list. I felt bad. I would not have ever put that many things on there if I had known they were literally going to send me everything. I don't think I've ever gotten as big of a PR package as as that. So thank you so much to Victoria's Secret. If you, if anyone out there is watching, I am so grateful and I love, and it's not bras and underwear. It is things like this. My favorite little walking set. Remember I've showed you this in the black. I bought my first set and then I bought three more pair of the black shorts because it's hot as you know what here. I have still walked every day since I started. And sometimes I have to walk and it's like 85 or 90 degrees. And I am just sweaty as you know what, when I get back. And I like these little cottony light things that are easy to wash, that don't stick to me. I don't have to peel them off. And I've already washed and dried both of these. And then they sent me like a bunch of the little terry cloth things, like some pants and some different little sets that I've been wearing. And then they sent me two sets. You know, I love their pajamas. I already have two pair of them, but they sent me two sets of their pajamas in this amazing pink zebra. I love it. So I've already washed these and then a black set with a matching little ruffle robe. I felt so glamorous. Love it. So the things that I have tried, I will link down below and just, I'm going to eventually do a walking video because there's a lot to it. My little walking journey. And I want to do a separate video on that. So I'll show you some of those walking things then, but thank you to Victoria's Secret for that. Okay. Gap. I went in, actually I went to Gap. I went to Sunglass Hut because one of you guys, my sweet subscribers and followers on Instagram, one of you told me about the new Wayfarer reverse. So I headed out to Sunglass Hut and they still touched my cheeks. So I didn't end up getting any sunglasses. And then I went to Gap and I ended up getting these shorts were half off and they're just a cut off. No, they're not even cut off. They're just rolled up pair of denim shorts but I don't know if I have ever had black denim shorts. I don't know. So I thought I would give them a try. And then they had this dress that I have on. Let me stand up. Isn't it sweet and pretty? And I just love it. You could wear your black Javianas if you want to. You could even wear a wedge. Okay, you know you've been talking a long time when you had to replace your battery. I just did. Anyway, I loved the tie sleeves. I always love this type of dress, but usually these things are too big and too little girly and too prominent, but because these are thinner and thinner, like thinner in width and like thickness, they aren't like over the top. I always think this bust line or neckline is flattering. It's double lined, so you don't have to wear anything and then no pockets. And a lot of times dresses like this will be too bulky. There's just too much junk going on and they're kind of like this. This is very, very thin and streamlined. No big ruffle on the bottom. And it has that linen look, but it's really not linen. It's a blend and oh, I just think it's so pretty. Look at the little slit on the side. Just the perfect dress to, you know, like I always say, like wear around the house, but this one is a little bit more than wear around the house. Like this one, I would wear out to dinner. I would, a lot of times, you know, like we'll walk over to the clubhouse if they're having the food truck out or something like that. That's this kind of dress. Shopping, going on vacation, put a little jean jacket over it. So many good things. And then, oh my gosh, I think we're finishing up, you guys. This, something else I ordered from Amazon. I love the Turkish cotton beach towels. That's all I use. I love how thin you can fold them. I like the way they feel. And so I wanted to try some other Turkish cotton things. So this, I believe they're 
considered hand towels, but I'm going to use them as dish towels. I don't know. Maybe I'll use them as hand towels, but I, I planned on dish towels. They're so absorbent. They're kind of like, do you guys ever use the flower sack? That's my favorite. That's what my mom uses. I like something that's kind of thin and absorbent. You know what I mean? And I love dish towels anyway. So I grabbed these and I've also bought this brand in the beach towels and love them. Let me give you a little bit of a rug story. You know, I waited and waited probably about a month, three weeks or a month for this rug that is underneath me now. I will put some pictures in here. This is from Anthropology, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Like if you can find a place in your home, you need this rug. It is so pretty. It's so rich. And the fact that it blends the black all, you know, all the way through the gray, all the way through the tan, the brown back to chocolate brown. It is just so versatile and it brings everything together. So I ordered the nine by 12 to replace the big shaggy rug that was filthy that was right here. We ended up just taking that to the dump and it just wasn't big enough for me. It wasn't like bad. It wasn't a faux pas or anything. It just wasn't big enough for me. I wanted something a little bit bigger. She had already been telling me I needed to have a rug underneath my dining room table. And you guys, I'm just not the biggest rug lover. I love my floors. We have heart. We didn't get any carpet in this whole house, but I got her point because what she was saying was my problem. It was like, I liked everything in here, but I needed something. I wanted some vibe. I wanted a little bit of personality in here. And that is what we're doing. So we've got this under here. It looks so good. I love it. And then this is a new rug that I ordered from Rugs USA, I think. And they I think it was on sale. If it isn't, it will be. They're always running sales. And then I also found a rug at Walmart. I think it was Better Homes and Gardens or Safavea, something that gives you that look, but isn't the exact same type of rug. See how thin that one is? I bought the mat that goes with it. And keep in mind, I have that tall lamp that's going to go over there. And then I have pillows for everything. And then I have a big round fabulous, I think it's a 42 inch round coffee table that's gonna go in the center. And you notice that we rearranged and I love it so much because now when you come in the house and you look, you see straight through the chairs instead of the huge sofa blocking all of that, you see straight through, and we actually can see the ocean and everything right through the waterway, right through, well, it's the waterway and then it's the ocean through those doors. And just even being able to see onto the porch, there's just something about being able to come in and see you know, straight out and those big doors that is so pretty. So I'm super excited about everything and I hope I can share it all with you. Matter of fact, thank you for letting me share it with you because it's fun. And if you're kind of like me, I'm not one to just sit here and watch. Matter of fact, I tried. I tried to go on Pinterest and I tried to just watch a bunch of videos, but it seems like they're all like 20,000 square foot mansions or like style by Sanaz. I like hers, but they're all so unrealistic. It's just too much for me and it's just not livable. So I don't know. It's hard for me to even describe what I like or find pictures of it. So if you're like that, come along this journey with me and we're going to get some good vibey things to put in our home to look like us, but it's going to be livable. Nothing I get is going to be so precious that if, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I remembered this. You guys, day one, morning one of the cat's and my rug. When the rug got here, they had to deliver it. And my cats were already night night in the garage. It was kind of late. It was a Friday night, matter of fact. And so we put the rug down instantly, thought, eh, it's just gonna be too small. The next morning I came downstairs, you know, I let the cats in at like five in the morning when I get up, they had already picked it. I would say it's picked in about three different places and it's sassy. She's the one that's kind of freaky like that. She likes to pick things. So here's why. This is why I don't get $5,000 rugs 
and things like that because if you have children or animals, you have to get over it. You just do. So I got over it and it's fine. That I don't think is as pickable. And you know, I had my chairs cleaned. They don't look the greatest, but you know what? I'll use them a little bit longer and then I'll get some more. So oh, I think that's it. Uh, jewelry, I have on simple things today. I have on my Sheila Fajal Petite Hoops. I have on the Ideal Necklace, and you've noticed that I have not taken this off, and it's because it's real gold, and it's a real diamond. It's a lab-created diamond. It, I can shower in it and everything else, and I've really loved it. My Bull of a Watch, and then my Dean Davidson ring. And remember, we're only getting 25% off until July 1st. So that means today, doesn't it? Today and tomorrow. So if you want anything from Dean, get it now before it goes down to 15%. And is that it? I need a drink. I've been talking so much. This is what I would love for you to do for me. If you know of any like YouTube channels that you think I would like the decor or any YouTubers that you think I would like their home, I don't like a lot of stuff. I like big impact few things or any Pinterest or Instagram, let me know down below. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I will see you. The next video is going to be a huge Zara try on haul. It's two orders worth that I'm waiting for today. It's not the sale stuff because I have had bad experiences with the sale. Every time I try to shop the sale, they will take things right out of my cart. So there was no way I was gonna try to show you a bunch of things that were sold out. So this is the new things and lots of cool pants, like a little special emphasis on cool pants. So I will see you either Saturday or Monday with that video. Thank you, bye-bye.